Falling Chinese Exports and the Yuan by www.forexconspiracyreport.com Over the last five years, the Chinese Yuan or Renminbi CNY, has strengthened substantially against the U.S. dollar. Only in the last year has the dollar reclaimed any lost ground. The strong yuan, coupled with a weakened world economy, has hit Chinese exports. Our interest is in falling Chinese exports and the yuan. Bloomberg Business shows the U.S. dollar yuan conversion rate over the last five years. It shows a fall from 6.8 yuan to the dollar to the 6.2 range. The path taken by the USA out of the recession was mapped out by the U.S. Federal Reserve under its former chairman, Ben Bernanke. When the stock and real estate markets collapsed around the world, roughly $7 trillion in equity simply disappeared. Bernanke is a recognized expert on the causes of the Great Depression. Knowing which road not to follow was critical for the American recovery. The Fed bailed out banks and the likes of General Motors. They instituted a stimulus program called quantitative easing in which they purchased as much as $85 billion in treasury bills and corporate bonds each month in three phases over six years. The end results were to a cheaper U.S. dollar and a substantially healthier U.S. economy. But how does this fit into falling Chinese exports and the U.N.? Weakened Chinese and World Economy Reuters reports that China's March exports shrank 15% a year. China's export sales contracted 15% in March, which is a shock outcome that deepens concern about sputtering Chinese economic growth. The tumble in exports, the worst in about a year, compared with expectations for a 12% rise and could heighten worries about how a rising yuan CNY equals CFXS has hurt demand for Chinese goods and services abroad, analysts said. The yuan strength was one factor in March's 19.1% on-year decline in exports to the European Union and a 24.8% drop to Japan. In a sign that domestic demand was also tepid, imports into the world's second biggest economy shrank 12.7% last month from a year ago, the General Administration of Customs said on Monday. By volume, coal imports plunged more than 40% in January to March. A rising yuan has made Chinese products more expensive in virtually all markets. This puts downward pressure on Chinese exports, it also reduces demand from China for raw materials from a whole host of suppliers. The Chinese economy is hurting. Coal imports fell by 40% as factories cut back. A strong yuan has hurt Chinese exports and a weakening Chinese economy is contagious. Tying the yuan to the dollar. The USA has worked its way out of the recession and has the best employment numbers in years. The oil fracking boom is helping the economy by keeping gasoline, natural gas, and home heating oil prices down. And the U.S. Federal Reserve expects to raise interest rates later this year. In a world of low interest rates, this is big news. Smart traders are parking their assets as dollars, which drives the price of the dollar up. And because the yuan is pegged to the dollar, it drives up the price of the yuan as well. Falling Chinese Exports and the Yuan Forbes reports on China's trade numbers. China's exports slumped 15% in March against a year earlier in a sharp reversal of the past two months growth and raising the prospect of disappointing first quarter economic growth. Jitters about the slowing Chinese economy, for which Beijing has set a growth target of about 7% this year, reverberate globally and have already helped dent commodity prices. Markets will be watching closely when the country releases its estimate for first quarter gross domestic product on Wednesday. China is buying less as well as shipping less. March imports fell 12.3% compared with the same month last year. 
There is said to be a bit of lumpiness in Chinese reporting of trade figures, but nevertheless, a 15% fall is significant. The concern beyond falling Chinese exports and the Yuan is that when China manufactures less, it also buys fewer commodities from the third world. These are countries that owe money to China and buy their products as well. Falling Chinese exports could be a sign of a significant economic downturn and the need to uncouple the yuan from the dollar and let it fall. For more insights and useful information about trading Forex, visit www.forexconspiracyreport.com.